Hey there, today we're checking out the brand new title, Deathbound, running on the Ryzen 7 7840HS. In particular, this is running on the UM780 XTX from Mini's Forum, which is one of my favorite mini PCs on the market right now. It's still a great bang for your buck. Unfortunately, you can't get it in this beautiful blue anymore, but they do at least have it in black. Now, this brand new title is actually pretty interesting because of the fact that it's like a Dark Souls inspired dungeon crawler. And one of the most surprising aspects of it is just how well it actually runs on this specific system here you're looking at the game running at the medium in-game graphics settings and we are using fsr but fsr at the quality preset and at medium you get some fantastic levels of performance the one percent lows are at an incredible range and the fps is more than comfortably above 60 to the point where if you have this hooked up to a high refresh rate display and it has free sync support then you're having a great time here and considering that this is a brand new title it's nice to see that you're not relegated to just having to stick to medium graphics or anything like that there's a surprisingly decent amount of headroom in terms of performance here and during the time that i was playing i never once felt like i was being held back by the hardware though the display that i was gaming on had an fps cap of 60 so i really couldn't take advantage of the above 60 fps average that we were getting here still it's a welcome sight considering how just how cheap you can get high refresh rate displays nowadays that said though if you are like me and you were just gaming at a 60 hertz display what happens if we try to push the graphics just a little bit just to see if we can get a little bit more visual flair Thankfully, you can actually sacrifice some of that performance headroom for a little bit of extra visual flair by going with the high graphics setting. We're still in an above 60 FPS average and the 1% lows are still at a great range. So it's going to be playable in both scenarios. It really just depends on whether or not you have a high refresh rate display or not. Keep in mind though that at the high graphics settings, just depending on what you're going to be doing, there will be on some occasions that it will drop below 40. It's very rare as a lot of the aspects of this game Game involved being in more confined spaces but when things open up a bit you will notice it in your performance and for the best gaming experience i really would recommend just sticking with medium but if you're the kind of person that prefers visual quality over a higher fps going with the high graphics settings honestly does net you a nice little bump in the visuals it might not be that noticeable on the youtube video but there's just an added clarity to everything you could also just mess around with certain settings things like turning up the textures will great improve the visuals without necessarily affecting performance if you have more than enough ram there's definitely room for experimentation here but overall it's a great result for a brand new title especially since we didn't really have to get all that aggressive with our fsr settings if you're someone that is completely against the concept of using fsr at all you're able to actually just play without it at the medium graphics settings and still get a great result it's a welcome sight to see considering that even though this is one of the most powerful apus on the market right now though not the most powerful Powerful anymore considering that the new series from AMD is finally out that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to give you great results in brand new titles if past generations of APUs have shown us anything it's that just because it's a new product doesn't necessarily mean that new games will run on it and that's certainly the case here there's a lot of titles that won't run on here that are brand new even titles from a couple of years ago that won't run well on here but that's not really a blanket statement that you can make as made evident by this game it's been, definitely been interesting to play and I'm probably going to be sinking a little bit more time into it but now i'm curious to see how it would run on some lower end hardware so i'm going to be taking a look at that as well but i hope you found this interesting if you're interested in picking up a system with this specific chip you can of course check out the links down below or if you're interested in this game you can also check out the link down below this game definitely gets my recommendation and it's perfect for people that are on mini pcs so i'll catch you guys in the next one